you ever wanted to run a AI language model on your own system, but once you look at the requirements, you notice you need a lot of memory and a lot of hardware power to get it going. As you can see here, a 3B billion model, very small, it still requires 8 gigabytes of RAM and it quickly gets exponentially bigger, 7B requiring 6 gigabytes. And to get anywhere close, you're going to need like 64 gigabytes of RAM to really make use of it. But just looking at Amazon, look how expensive 64 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, bear in mind we're on DDR5, compare that with a good CPU, you're looking at a very expensive rig just to run an AI language model, especially a dedicated system. Trying to get it on your own system is going to be difficult because you're going to be using it maybe while you're also doing your program, running your program. You're not going to have enough memory, or even if you're trying to use it on your graphics card. We know graphics cards are very expensive at the moment. But what if we go older? The price of old server memory, DDR3 and less, is incredibly cheap. We can see here this person selling 8 by 8 gigabytes of sticks for only £24. That's, that's incredibly cheap for the DDR3 memory. And what I have with me, well, I've actually got an old server right back. So let's give it a go and see if we can run an AI language model on it. Now, the system I've got is a Primergy TX200S6 server, dated about the year late 2000s. And this is the PDF file of it. And it can show you all the specs. And we've currently got it spec'd out for two Xeon X5570s, which are four cores, eight threads per core, per, per CPU, sorry. That gives us eight cores and 16 threads not too bad they run about 2.93 gigahertz so i remember i think it can turbo higher but we probably won't get that now the maximum memory you can get on this is 96 gigabytes that's if you have both cpus so you run what single socket you won't get that the so two two cpus we can get a maximum of 96 memory as we can see here and the minute you can get is two gigabytes why do you want to serve two gigabytes and do much and it's ddr3 uh, looking on the internet, on eBay specifically, you can see that a lot of people are just selling old refurbished servers for a pretty decent price. Look, £60 for this R420. Two CPUs, totaling 8 cores and 64 gigabyte memory for £60. Like, that's, you know, pretty great. Uh, so memory is very cheap on these things. And the power, the efficiency, the amount of output power they can output calculations are pretty good. And they are old though. That means that I have older instruction sets and that will be important later on when we try and run the AI. So I've just SSH'd into my server and this is the amount of RAM I've got. I have 19 gigabytes in total and I have 7 gigabytes of it in swap memory. And this is more than enough to us, for us to run a 7B model which is 16 gigabytes as recommended. So we should be able to try a decent one rather than a tiny one and just to see how it goes. The, I have a total of three six by four gigabyte sticks at 1,333 megahertz, I believe, and the speed of the RAM will be important uh, later. But yeah, that's how much we got. So let's give it a go. So installing a AI language model is actually incredibly easy. Very pretty much no setups required, and I'm going to be using O Llama or All Llama, however you say it. And to do this, we just simply need to do curl hc run that. You just copy that command into your Linux server. Uh, if you're running Windows, you're out of luck. You have to be using the WSL2, which is like a Linux subsystem within Windows. Uh, if you keep seeing my head swap between side to side, it's because I'm trying to do the code uh, of the, and the stuff on the web page, so that's why I keep swapping. But I already have Olalama installed, so we can actually already run it by doing like uh, let's do it firstly do team ups first, and we can then do Olalama serve and that should start a server. Nice, it does say GPU not found. I haven't got a GPU in the system, so this is perfectly fine to see. And now we have the server running. We can actually now run our AI model. So I'm gonna create a new window which is control B C with team up and then I'm going to swap to this other one and we're going to choose a model to play with and we'll just choose a really small one we'll do we'll try code llama it's only 3.8 gigabytes and it's a 7b one and this is the Facebook's or meta in this case code specific one and then we can give that a go and then we'll switch back to my terminal we'll just paste that code in and we'll run it and 
Oh no. What happened? Let me switch to Windows. Hmm. It had a system core dump. Why was that? But well, if you remember last time I referred to the instruction set, this is because Olama, I guess uh, you can consider it a bug in the code, but it checks for an instruction set called AVX. I was introduced in 2011. CPUs in the system are from 2009, and so they do not have this instruction set, which is currently being asked by Olama server to be used, and they don't exist. They don't, they're not in it. So that's why it's getting the core dumped. Luckily, we're not the only mad lad out there that has tried to run this on a CPU that does not have AVX or AVX2. Yeah, I think we're on AVX15 now, 512 something, dash 512. We've got none of those AVX. And if we scroll all the way at the bottom to this issue on GitHub on Olama, Ewinter made a comment on how you can actually fix this and people AVX so it runs about it. Uh, note, running on such an old boot, same side does not make it very fast, so uh, that's a bit of a foreshadow. So you'll want to git put by copying that and doing a git clone, or git clone, sorry, not a git pull. So that would be git clone and then a bit. I've already cloned it and I've actually already got this running and showing, but I'll still show you where the files are. You need to change. So if we refer back to our boy, boy's error issue. He says you'll need a clone resource seat and then go to generate linux.go. Then we go on that cd llm. Then we have the llama cp and we go in that directory. We don't see the none the generate underscore linux.go. So I'm just going to use a nano, nano for the current being. I don't care if you use vim or whatever code, any code editor. And on this line, you'll see here. We have the Alarma AVX off, 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 and these are all the different ones, FMA, blah, blah. And so if you ever are building it, you might want to actually enable these yourself. So you can use them such as F116 or if you have the latest one, 5112, 512, sorry. So you need to set this one to off because we're not using it. We don't have it. If you do have it, that's great. You have better luck. And also here you want to say so it's hip is twice. And you want to say you want to say no, I don't want to buy it, put them off. Save that file. And now you can just simply build it. So the the dependencies are just CMake 3.24 higher, go 1.20 and or higher, and GCC 11.4 and higher. I'm I'm currently running Ubuntu 20, which is quite old now. But that one was, I was able to easily download CMake, go and 11.4. Uh, for CMake and GCC, I did have to go an extra mile to get them because the default but Ubuntu has this annoying, I guess, safety thing of the repositories and older versions being stuck on on, like GCC and CMake. And sometimes you have to add these repositories to get them the later versions. And all you'd run is go generate this and then go build and that's all you do and you do this from you want to go back to them here and you want to you want to build it from this part uh, not from the file we changed and so once you've had that built we can now do we can run it locally like this olama serve and again gpa support may not you may not have drivers we don't have any if you do, excellent, it means you can don't have to worry about all this AVX issues. You just have to have a VRAM issue because now you have to have enough VRAM in your card. So now we can go back to our other window. And now we should be able to just run code Llama. And hopefully it will no longer have the error and it will now start downloading our model to our RAM. Let's hope. Let's check on boy. As you can see here, memory required. And it should be doing its thing. Ah, here we go. Ah. Aha, we were I've already done land downloaded it. And so now, now we can run it. So uh, let's just let's just tell it to do Python create a hello 
well script in Python. You know, very simple. Now, uh, sit back and relate. You go for a shower or even make a coffee because we're going to be sitting here for quite a while. I'm just going to sit here with you until the first message is actually the first letter will be written. Oh, you got a new line? Ah. Do create a hello world. As you can see, it's not exactly the fastest thing while it but it melts your CPU at the same time because obviously that CPU is going to be working hard. And so if you're looking to save money on your heating, then uh, this might be a good way for that just running the back. But as you can see, the speed for this is not going to be great. And the bigger the prompt, the longer it's going to take. And the bigger data set, the bigger the model, the more it's got to read and the longer it's going to take. Uh, so, yeah. Ah, so it's finished. I went and made a coffee and in the time by, by the time it was done, you know, I had my coffee ready. So it took about, what, five minutes to do that, just to make a hello world script. It's it's just so slow at the point where it is m more detrimental to your productivity, productivity than it is to run it on your own system. And really most of the uh, language models, unless they're the big ones, aren't going to be good as Cat GPT 3.5. Only really the new Mistral uh, 7, 8, 7 by 8 b or something like that that recently came out that's just marginally better than 3.5 and that requires about 48 gigabytes of RAM and that's going to be painfully slow on a system like that. You're going to need to go for something more modern or if you can fit a graphics card on it then maybe you have luck but then you need the power supply to support it and it's the, the PCIe slots as well. PCI heat slot on this system is PCI 2.2 by 8x8. It's not even 16, so I'm not. You won't even get the full potential of the a the 16. There, so there's gonna be a bandwidth issue there, and uh, the cards are also gonna be expensive, and the power ink as well. It's a 700 watt PSU, which can support it, but it's not really designed for it. So you may have some trouble. So we can actually see here it took five minutes 38 seconds in total am i facing the boat in the return and server to tell us when was when it was finished that's how long it took to uh run that prompt uh on the 7b model which is you know pretty a, a tiny compared to a, a really good juicy chunky model the only benefit i could see is is perhaps uh running an image generator instead because you're sort you could have that something running in the background but again ai image generation is very sort of conceptual so you'll be sitting around doing nothing while you wait for this an image one which would probably take an eternity to run when you could just go online and find references yourself rather than ai generate and get a reference there and then again you've got the the whole idea of it being plagiarism and so i don't think that perhaps that's not the best choice to do you're better off using these servers to store data because uh, data is very cheap on these old systems they're perfectly fine for running servers if they have multi-threading support single thread servers that are only running single thread will struggle or single cores in this case because they're not very fast only 2.9 gigahertz on this something like this on the ddr3 right relate system the ram is also slow only 1,333 megahertz that I've got in here. I think that's as fast as I can get, maybe on a system like this that can support it. If I go above it, be dangerous. Um, and speed's very important because you're reading a lot of data and you need that read and write. So this is where RAM speed's probably very beneficial. Apparently some of the cheaper old graphics cards like the NVIDIA Tesla P40 is only £185 and it's 24 gigabytes and this is gonna be much more faster than trying to run a system like this you'll need multiple 24 gigabytes if you want to run those big choosy models you need a lot of vram and you'll hit a big bottleneck because it might use those 24 gigabytes of vram but once it runs out you're gonna use your system ram and that's significantly slower and you're probably going to be back at square one at a slow system 
there is also the K80, I believe, is another one that seems pretty decent. EDR5, like £70. Pretty decent for a graphics card. And get two of those if they can go in SLI. Uh, most of them will just run the one GPU, but you will have the VRAM. So you can use the VRAM of the other system. It's just the other system is not going to be doing any processing. You're going to need a good juicy PSU though, to power both those systems. So in overall, while you can run a large server model at a low cost, its performance is going to be horrifically slow. But it ain't going to be worth it. And the amount of electricity you spent perhaps is going to actually outweigh the cost of just paying a monthly subscription to use chat GB4. Yeah, I know they absolutely censored it to oblivion and who knows where ai rules will be in the future they may chat gbt could be unsustainable as a business because of the new rules and they're not allowed to do this and not to do that and so i do recommend being careful when using ai over the various plagiarisms a bit there's a lot of uncertainty i always just use it as a tool and use it as a concept don't create up copy code just make it your own and usually half the code that I produce doesn't fucking work anyway which is really annoying for now but overall you know it was a fun experiment uh, i do try try and recommend going for more modern systems and maybe actually you may actually see a good ice to performance on it some ddr4 servers seem to be decent this one is 62 pound and it's running ddr4 so i would presume the cpu on this skills could be decent the ram speed is obviously double at like 1000 or not quite double we're getting close to double done on that DDR3. And uh, you can check out the instruction sets, which are important. If in the better, the higher, better AVX, uh, the more fast it execute those floating points, which are really important. Uh, some data sets, AI might be more optimized to CPUs. CPUs tend to suck at doing the AI, and that's why everyone wants to get those GPUs to run all the AIs. So, Thanks for watching and tell me your story of you trying to run your own local llama as they call it if you're one of those people and what was your budget on your system what was your success what was your failures uh what's your opinion should you pay for a subscription or should you just use the normal 3.5 or not at all be actually use your brain rather than be boring and just copy ai yeah don't do that try and be an original anyways